Hello. Today I'm going to discuss which five nutrients are necessary for optimal mitochondrial health and repair, what are the ideal dosages to take, how these nutrients work together synergistically to support mitochondrial health, and if you're interested in longevity, why it's really important to care. So let's dive into it. Hello, I'm Dr. John Kaiser. I've cared for thousands of patients with complex chronic conditions linked to mitochondrial damage. And with almost 40 years experience, I've learned how to get the mitochondria to heal. I'd like to start by telling you why this is so important. When most people are born, they're born with a healthy complement of mitochondria, mitochondrial genes, and they function normally. But as people progress through life, stuff happens. People can be exposed to viral infections, they can be under too much stress, they can have environmental toxic exposures, trauma, all of these things degrade mitochondrial health over the course of a lifetime until a person crosses a critical threshold. When this happens, there isn't enough energy being produced by the mitochondria and something breaks. This can include cancer, neurodegenerative diseases, autoimmune conditions, and the like. There's also another class of conditions that occurs earlier in life that I call acquired mitochondrial diseases. And those can be chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, people who get long COVID, uh, early onset autoimmune diseases. These are all, have all been linked to mitochondrial dysfunction and they occur earlier in life than the normal age-related diseases. So if you're dealing with any of the conditions listed here, it's extremely important that you support the health and repair of your mitochondria. So what are the top five nutrients to support mitochondrial health and repair? Number one, N-acetylcysteine, 600 milligrams once or twice a day. I prescribe these key mitochondrial nutrients once or twice a day based on my patient's situation. If it's for prevention or mild conditions, once a day is usually enough. If it's to help reverse a serious medical condition, twice a day is what I usually use. N-acetylcysteine is a precursor for what's known as glutathione. And glutathione's important because it's used to make glutathione peroxidase. This is a very complex enzyme that the body uses uh, for detoxification. Uh, and uh, glutathione and uh, N-acetylcysteine is also used when people have Tylenol overdose, acetaminophen poisoning. And it's used because glutathione uh, from NAC help support mitochondrial health and repair in the liver, which is damaged by acetaminophen. Number two, acetyl L-carnitine, 500 milligrams. Acetyl L-carnitine helps the mitochondria burn more fat for energy. Uh, the mitochondria can use one of three sources, nutrient sources, uh, to burn for energy. Uh, glucose, fats, and protein. Uh, L-carnitine, or even better, acetyl L-carnitine, increases the use of fatty acids, fats, uh, for mitochondrial energy production. Now, an important fact here is that gram for gram, burning fat gives you double the energy of burning sugar or burning protein. So 
it, acetyl L-carnitine has been shown in double-blind placebo-controlled trials in elderly individuals to reduce physical and mental fatigue. And then uh, th these results were reproduced in a second paper uh, published in the Archives of Gerontology, again, showing acetyl L-carnitine at therapeutic dosages reduces physical and mental fatigue. Number three, alpha lipoic acid. 200 milligrams. Alpha lipoic acid is known to recharge other antioxidants in the mitochondria. And it's been shown to really help complement acetyl L-carnitine supplementation. Uh, Dr. Bruce Ames has done a lot of studies showing that when you combine acetyl L-carnitine and alpha lipoic acid, uh, especially in rats, which have shorter lifespans, you observe uh, a lot of the aging process almost reverse. Their skin gets shinier, their coat gets shinier, their liver works better, and their brains work better. So this is another study of the combination which showed increased numbers of mitochondria and increased numbers of brain mitochondria that were preserved in this uh, placebo-controlled trial in rats. Number four, coenzyme Q10, 100 milligrams. Most people have probably heard of coenzyme Q10, also known as CoQ10. Uh, it's also known, it's also called ubiquinone, uh, as in ubiquitous. And the reason for that, CoQ10 shuttles electrons along the inner mitochondrial membrane. And it's those green molecules in this animation. And look how many there are. There's like shuttle buses bringing electrons down the electron transport chain, generating energy. CoQ10 has also been studied uh, two, for two weeks before open heart surgery. Patients took either CoQ10 or placebo. And during the surgery, they had a, a biopsy of their heart muscle cells and they were shown to be more resilient and to have better function and better contractility. So uh, CoQ10 is well known to boost mitochondrial function in heart muscle cells. Number five, the granddaddy of all the antioxidants, vitamin C, a thousand milligrams. Vitamin C is a highly potent antioxidant. It's used by all the tissues of the body to heal and it supports immune function. So there you go. Here are the five key nutrients for supporting mitochondrial health and repair. Now, don't just take my word for it. I want to show you clinical trials in people, at least one today, that use this exact combination, a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. These were the dosages that I just showed you, uh, but there is a little caveat, and that is that these five key mitochondrial nutrients work better when also given with just the kind of vitamins and minerals you find in a high potency multivitamin, B complex, magnesium, zinc, selenium, and a little bit of vitamin D. So these are cofactors that help these nutrients do a better job. In the 1980s and 90s, when the early AIDS drugs came out, they were linked to mito severe mitochondrial toxicity. They essentially, in addition to inhibiting HIV, they poison the mitochondria of a lot of our patients. And back then, I was an AIDS specialist and I had several hundred HIV patients who needed their mitochondria repaired. I worked with multiple combinations until I came up with this formula. So the study was performed in HIV patients who had mitochondrial damage from their drugs. Double-blind, 
placebo controlled in four centers across the United States. The results showed that this formula helped improve the immune systems of HIV positive patients. On the graph, you can see a straight line increase in what's called the CD4 count or the helper cell count of the immune system which is what we follow as a marker of immune strength in HIV positive patients. Um, the lighter purple bars were the placebo group who had no change. So this formula basically gave their immune systems a big shot in the arm of energy, improved their mitochondrial function, and increased the CD4 count. These results were published in a peer-reviewed journal, the Journal of AIDS, in 2006. Now I've been prescribing this formula for over 20 years to my patients and I know a lot of other uh, doctors who use this formula. You might think that it's uh, you know a lot of bottles, 10 bottles and 20 pills, but it doesn't have to be like that. You can take it that way, but there are a couple of companies that manufacture very close to this formula. Those are orthomolecular products Mitocore and Integrative Therapeutics Capax Mitonutrients. Now, neither of these companies has sponsored this video and I have no financial conflicts of interest. So I hope this video helps you to learn more about what are the best supplements to take to support mitochondrial health and repair. That is the first step to helping improve your situation in any of the diseases that are related to mitochondrial dysfunction. And in future videos, I will cover all of the different ways that you can help support the health and repair of your mitochondria. So stay healthy out there and I'll see you next time.